guys so we are back uh, I just finished um, entering all of the fates into the um, the book obviously I've used a um, walkthrough to do this and actually some of those I was kind of on track um, and we can quickly quickly go through them uh, and some of those I, I don't know if I would have <laughs> managed to notice so uh, all of these guys I was saying are uh, top men, then we have the butcher and the cook next to each other. All of the four people originating from India right here, and I actually swapped these two when I was trying to guess at the end. So yes, this was okay. Uh, this guy is the surgeon mate, and I have to admit that I have no clue how I would have found this one out. Um, that guy was um, decapitated by the crab and I thought they were strangled but they were actually decapitated by the beast. Then here we have the two brothers. So see when I was saying, oh, I need to check if I uh, have two guys with the same last name. There were, there were uh, Nathan Peters and Samuel Peters. And Samuel Peters is actually the one that was crushed by the falling cargo. So that's why then uh, Nathan Peters said to um, the Danish guy, oh, you know, you killed my brother when you let go of the ropes. And so that explains it. Then here we have uh, two Russians. So that's where I got confused. I thought these four were Russians, but actually only these two were. And these two were just brother from England. Uh, here we have these, <laughs> these guys here, same. Uh, I don't know, I, I assume I would have had to know their name by uh, just elimination basically uh formosa we found out here same i wasn't too far away uh with the name of these guys so indeed here we have martin and his mate was right there here we have the other mates so this is the third mate and the first mate so they were all of kind of group there um here is the ship steward so it's kind of same all the officers were in the same kind of uh, location. Uh, here we have the helmsman, and that's true. I mean, it's on the helm. So I was trying to find a memory where it was on the helm, but actually it was on the sketch. So here is the helmsman. Uh, a lot of them drowned during the chapter seven, and I didn't spot that. I have to agree that I didn't spot that in the uh, in the different memories. So a lot of those guys were actually killed by the kraken. This guy here is the uh, purser, the one that's in charge of the uh, administration. So because of his clothes, I thought that he was the surgeon mate, but actually no, it's just the second more literate people on here. <laughs> so yeah, that makes sense. I understand this one. Um, Topman, maybe I could have guessed because they're kind of sitting higher than the other people. That, that was kind of a clue. I didn't spot that, to be honest. Then we have all of these guys here, this group of friends. Uh, Thomas here, Thomas is the one that called the mutiny, if you remember. Uh, he called out the mutiny and he was actually killed by this dude, who's the gunner's mate. So he's right next to the gunner, so maybe that could have been a clue. I don't know how I would have spotted that, to be honest, other than in this sketch, uh, because uh, his name was not mentioned anywhere. And so yeah. So all is killed, uh, Thomas, and then there was that weird thing where, no, no, Brennan, and then all is was killed by um, John Davis, and then Brennan came and thought that John came. This old mess, if you remember, in the um, on the below deck. Uh, then the other dude we were fine, Charles, <laughs> the famous Charles Maynard. It's him. It's him. He's the Frenchman, and. I don't know. I don't know how I would have managed to know this. So it's true that he was around a lot. Uh, he was in a lot of these sketches, so he was an important um, person, but same, I wouldn't have guessed that. Um, then here, Carpenter, Carpenter mate, I, I kind of swapped them. I thought he looked older but actually he was the mate and he was the carpenter so I, I i just had them swapped i was correct with him he's the first steward mate and he's next to um to the mate so um but he was alive 
basically all the people that were on the um, lifeboat with these two lady. So it was her, uh, Emily Jackson, who actually shot the, um, the Russian guy coming at her. And this guy, they're actually alive in Africa with uh, Henry. Same. I mean, I would have probably tried to guess that they were all at the same spot. And then you have that line here of uh, shooters. Uh, they're all sea, uh, just basic seamen. And um, I don't know how I would ever find them who they were either. So, yeah, I think some of those with a little bit more time, maybe I could have kind of guessed it. Some of those really <laughs> would have just been like swapping names around and trying new things. Uh, so yeah, here we go. So we have all of the fates now. I think that we can quickly go through the book just to have like the final say on the story. So basically, yes, Samuel was, pe that was uh, Peters was crushed by the cargo with a stowaway that was in that uh, barrel for which we don't have any name. Then basically there was a illness. Uh, so Saeed succumbed to the illness as well as, uh, as well as Raju. And then they slaughtered the cow to have the meat. Then we, we know what happened with the, mord the murder. Uh, Nunzio Pasqua was knifed by Nichols who tried to get the shell. And then Lao was just uh, condemned basically for murder because obviously Nichols lied and um, he was executed. And he was just kind of, you know, Brennan managed to kill him, but that was just uh, execution. And then <laughs> that guy, no clue how I would have guessed his name. So this guy was killed when Nichols tried to escape um, and kidnap the former in royalty with the shell. Then what happened is that they were on these little lifeboats with the shell trying to escape to the Canary and uh, they were attacked by mermaid. So you can see that all these guys there, Hoagin, uh, Galligan, uh, sorry, Hoagin was killed by a mermaid. Um, Galligan, whose second mate, Stuart, was actually knifed by Bang when he tried to um, protect the shell from the mermaid. And then the Lady Lim was just clawed to death by a mermaid. And then Bang just burned out of that fire that just exploded everywhere to kill the mermaid, he was also killed by that too. And when Nichols tried to go back to the Oberdeen saying, hey, I have treasures and I have a weird mermaid and please take me back, uh, the remaining Fomos and God just killed him. Cold blood. Vengeance. And then these two, these two were just uh, pulled by the mermaid under the sea and they were just drowned. Then what happened is that they had these mermaids up there, so basically the the god was just taken into custody by a uh, deum, and then the mermaid was up in that um, net. They were trying to bring her on the ship and just like sent spikes, and the spike just killed uh, Tan and Diem. The cook was killed because he tried to grab the shell from the mermaid, so she just killed him by striking him. Uh, with her tail, and then Wasim was crushed by the cargo because obviously they were all out of balance and then the cargo just fell and he was just crushed and killed by the, the cargo. And uh, then Philip Dahl, who was the captain steward, just went crazy. If you remember, he was like, yeah, they are unholy, uh, we are all going to die, you're cursing this ship. And then he's just start to kill everybody, and that poor John Naples just like was killed by uh, by Philip. Then that's where it starts to be really, really <laughs> rocky, let's say. So the storm arrived. So uh, was the storm unnatural? Probably. So Lee was electrocuted in the rigging, and then uh, Nicholas was just the first one to die to this crab. Uh, crab soldiers, soldiers of the sea. You know these two crab that just came from the the side of the of the ship. So Nicholas was the first one, but there were plenty. Uh, Marcus was also obviously killed, and that makes more sense now. You know, if you remember, he was saying like, you know, come on, boss, no, get down. He was actually talking to his um, 
his boss because he's the carpenter mate and the carpenter was right there. So this could have been a guess on who is who. And then these two poor dudes were decapitated by the crab. Um, Charles was the one who just killed the beast with fire, but then he, he died on top of the beast. The butcher was also spiked. Uh, him! Him, I would have never guessed, but he was the, the, the person who died. You know, he tried to, he was injured and then he crawled away and he tried to hide. And then he was killed by mistake by that bullet that went through the wall. And the bullet was actually shot by Charles. And then the carpenter, Winston, is the one who uh, just fell backward and what just shot the beast and at the same time was killed. So... And then, after all of that, the Kraken came. Never ending. So basically what happened is that Lars and Nathan, as well as uh, Duncan and Alexander, tried to escape. And what happened is that Nathan killed Lars because he probably thought that he was the one who just like let the rope go that crushed his brother at the beginning of the um, of the game in loose cargo. And then what happened is that the Kraken arrived and just like you know took their lifeboat and just like drowned them, destroyed them. Uh, the artist Edward Spratt was just crushed by the the Kraken, and then it was just a nightmare. So. A lot of crushed people, the Kraken just messed up with the cannon, so um, these two were just killed by a cannon explosion. Um, then Roderick was just also crushed by a cannon. Another one was just blasted in an explosion. Um, Maba, who we thought was Charl for the entire game, was just torn apart on the deck. Abigail was just crushed by falling ringing because the ship fell apart, it was just a nightmare. And then a lot of people drowned, a lot of people drowned. So Omid we saw, he just fell overboard. Uh, Nathan, Alexander and Duncan were just in that lifeboat that just like was throw up it, thrown up in the air by the Kraken. And then all these dudes, upper new were torn apart and drowned and I missed that. I think that some of these deaths happened off screen. So I was kind of trying to find them in memories when actually we know that Charles was torn apart by a beast, but it doesn't mean that we saw it. So yeah, that's why I got confused with the, the other um, character. So the bargain we are going to see now, which I'm really excited for. And then we have the final, no, the penultimate chapter. So Alfred, we know, was torn by the beast. Paul was killed. Sorry, Leonid was uh, one of the, uh, the Russian guy was killed by um, Emily Jackson. And then she managed to escape. And then that's, that's what I was explaining earlier. All is just kill uh, John Davis. And then, uh, no, sorry, what? No, John killed, sorry. John killed all is after he shot uh, Thomas, I think. And then John was killed by Brennan. Um, yes, Thomas, who was trying to say, you know, there is a mutiny happening, was just killed by all this. And these four are alive. These four managed to escape, actually, on the lifeboat. They were the clever one. And then the end, we remember, is just the very first thing we've done. Uh, there were just a few people left on that ship. So William, who was Abigail, um, husband, just went crazy. He probably wanted, I think he wanted to take the shell. If you remember, the very, very first dialogue was Captain opened the door, lest we break it down and take more than those shells. So they wanted the shells to themselves. And we will know how they managed to have more than one shell in the bargain, maybe. Um, and the Brennan was killed by the captain. Anyone left alive, basically, was killed by the captain, which kind of makes sense. And then the captain was the only one left on the ship. And then he killed himself. He was the last one to go, as all good captain should do, really. So that's it. That was a lot. I don't think I would have been able to do that on my own. The last two, the last two fates unknown are actually Martin. You know, I was like, oh, weird. We don't know what happened to Martin. So Martin and um, Philip. 
Philip, who's the captain suit, went crazy and who was actually locked in the lazarette with the beasts. So we are going to discover right now what happened to them. So let's go. Nope. Yes. We should go. Storm's nearly about, so we won't be coming back. Finally. Sit down so you don't fall out. <laughs> So let's see the difference in money as well. <laughs> so one week later, this is where the report is going to be written. So. Yeah, I'm going to go through this really quickly, obviously. Um, yeah, Martin is the only one which is unknown yet. Uh, I'm going to go through this quickly. So we can move to the next... The final chapter. Wow. Okay, that's nearly like... I think we, we were really... Not really above 20,000, so... It's 9,000 more. We keep the pocket watch, which makes sense because I assume we will need it for the final chapter. Sorry. Except if they give us all of that information straight away. So I don't know what happens in the final chapter. I've just looked at the, the fates to make sure that uh, we have the right one. I didn't look at the fate of Martin and Philip. So let's see together what happened. Oh, same. We have a cup of tea. Yes. And from what I saw from the um, <laughs> from the uh, walkthrough, is actually that shelf is different. We have more stuff here because we discovered more fate, but I, I can't see from here what it is, to be honest. A medal? Can I zoom? No. A medal, and what else is that? Okay. Yeah, I can't see. Oh. Can you believe it? A package at this hour? A package, and not a letter. Oh, the thing smells just dreadful. Better you don't open it inside. I'm going to I'm go out. Turning it now. Tea's in the kitchen if you need more. Ooh, this time we can get more tea. Oh wow. It's a big package. Are we going to get the book back? I think we should to have the chapter. Okay. Chief Inspector, I write to you with the unfortunate death a uh, news, sorry. But Dr. Evans has passed away, so he passed away anyway. He succumbed to his illness shortly after receiving your package. He was very pleased, hey. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> With your correspondence and ask that his gratitude be expressed by returning the book to you, along with the means to complete it. As for the three of us that remain, the Oberdin is a distant memory and a dreadful chapter on our life that we wish to forget. Do not write back. Regard Jane Bird. Okay, um, I'm not going to write back. What was that? What is this? Is that a hand? Ooh, um, book. This tells belongs to you now. Please finish it. Okay. Uh, okay. 
but what 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 do I do? How do I finish it? Can I click on ah? Here we go. I didn't have the pocket watch. There we go. That looks like a hand, right? Collect your things. Where's the key? To that door. Gone. Yeah. There's no time. We need to go. Right. There you go. What are you up to? Nothing good. Oof. Um. Oof. Okay. Where? Are... Oh, cool. We are in the Lazaret. You you remember we saw that by the uh, window. So someone shot us through the. That is Henry. He shot his monkey. Why? What? Why did you shoot your monkey? A friendly but not entirely pleasant monkey companion was sacrificed in the pursuit of knowledge. So Paul was there, Henry was there, who else? Oh, that's it. Wait a minute, who is that? That's Philip. How did he die? Because, oh, wait a minute, that is water. Did they put the mermaid in water? <gasps> That's Martin! I think they were killed by the mermaid. So Martin was... Yeah, Martin was... Uh, we know now. He's... Uh, yes, that's you. Oh no, I can't. Okay. I can't say how you're that. I need to go back to the book. Oh, but it's not your... Okay, it's not his death scene. Who else is there? So Philip died? I don't know how though. That's a weird thing it has here. What is that? A claw? Uh, the shells are gone. Did... Um, I think he tried to... Yeah, so see? The leash of the monkeys... Who are you? Oh, that's Paul. He has the monkey on the leash, and I'm wondering if he tried to get the monkey to steal the shell? I don't understand. I still don't understand why would he kill his monkey? Because the, if the monkey stole the shell... A third shell! The captain yeah. didn't toss them all. Leave it. Help me lift this. Yes. Stop! Why? Well, let you free. Give it the shell. He do it. Hoist it out. To the main deck. Throw it over. Lock the door when, when you leave. Get the I think that's Martin. They mm. return. The ship. The Uberton. Oh. 
that's the bargain. That's why the ship made it to London, or Falmouth. Because there was no one left there alive, so it couldn't have just gone and finished the journey. I was wondering about that. So the bargain was, I'm giving back the shell to you, but then bring the Aberdeen back home. And they did. Wow. So basically what they did, uh, from what I understand, the captain just threw the shelf away because it was like, you know, all of that happened and just like, let's get rid of them. And there was one last one. And maybe he didn't know it was still there. I think he wouldn't have because it was a, that, that captain seemed like a clever person. So there was still one shell left and they gave it back to the, um, to the mermaid who still spiked him basically. Yeah. So who else was with him? Paul? Paul Moss was with him. Oh, Davy James was with him as well. But I thought he left on that boat. So the mermaid was in there. Oh, here it is. Yeah. So she has the shell. Yeah, she has the shell in her hands. Look. She's just grabbing it. There's one dead here. Oh yes, killed by a spear. Okay, so there was more than one mermaid. I'll kill every last one of you monsters. That's probably it. Draw the Kraken, or I will kill you all. Or maybe not Philip? Who is that? That's the captain. That's why they say the Kraken left when the captain came back from the Lazarette. Because it's just... Yeah, okay. So maybe that was the bargain as well. And, um... And Philip went crazy and took the shell. That is such a mess. A captured beast forced against his jailer who speared for the trouble, yeah. Another one, yeah. Oh, are those kind of boxes, maybe? What do they keep in there? I need to check what the Lazarus is. You brought it here! Send it back! Yeah, okay. So he killed another... Um, killed two mermaids, basically. And uh, him still has a shell. Okay. So it makes sense that that, la that last one just killed Martin on sight because she had two of her um, companion killed by a human, so... Holy creature defense, shriek regretted by a final bullet, yeah. Okay. You! Yeah, you I'm interested in. Oh, 
Okay, so the shell is corrosive. I get it. Yeah, okay. Oh, wow. His hand just... His hand just disappeared, I think. Is that why um, Bang also was had that smoke? So maybe just he managed to control. I still don't know what this explosion was when he killed all these mermaids. I'm going to say burned, but because um, that works for Bang. Yeah, there we go. All fates are correct. I liked Martin. Still not sure why Henry killed this monkey. I think he tried to grab that shell. No, they gave it back to the mermaid. Oh. Eh. It's just going to stay there. The book. Okay, the end. I'm wondering if Henry tried to still see if that shell was there and sent his monkey. Not sure why he killed the monkey, because they say it's for research of knowledge. I don't understand that. Uh, this was a much more satisfying ending, obviously. And he answered why the Oberdin went back. And what I really like with that ending is that it actually lets you know that these were sentient creatures and they did not attack for the sake of attacking. They attacked because they had something stolen from them and they wanted it back and maybe at the beginning if they had just like put that shell in the water it would have been fine but i remember that the lady lim was like do not let that shell in the water but maybe it would have been so much better just put it in the water and they would all have been fine but instead they just killed those mermaid and captured them so they had even more shells because each mermaid had a shell and then they put the mermaid into the cargo so then the soldiers tried to come and free them and then when the soldiers were killed they just called out the kraken and the kraken killed everybody and then the captain went to murder the mermaid to call off the kraken and then when they were just like okay you know what we're going to release you please can you do us this favor and bring the boat back and they did they didn't have to do it everybody was dead and they still did it. So, yeah. This is an interesting twist. I really like that. I really like that ending. Um, this game was really hard though. <laughs> it was so hard, <laughs> but so interesting. Great, I really hope you enjoyed this um, kind of spoilery episode. I, I'm really glad I did it. I know that it's not kind of the traditional way of doing this because it's kind of ruined the fun, let's say, to just go and have a look at some walkthrough. But I don't, I don't mind. I kind of did my best, to be honest. <laughs> and maybe I could have guessed a little bit more um, by spending a bit more time. But um, I, I want to just, you know, I want to move on and play other things. So. Um, yeah, I, I really hope you enjoyed this, this episode so we're able to really know what happened and uh, as usual, 
If you like it, you can give it a like and let me know in the comments what you think about this ending and if you have any other theories, why not? Uh, thank you for watching and I will uh, see you very soon for another Let's Play. Bye bye!